And that bitter cold isn't just making it tougher to get around the roads. It also complicates maintaining the roads as well. But a new chemical is being used in Fargo and soon it's going to come to Grand Forks. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin tells us it's keeping roads safe and maybe better for your car. It's very cold. <laughs> I'm glad the wind wasn't blowing 15, 20. It's Mark Obel's job to keep the streets clear in Grand Forks. You need to really evaluate that before you start throwing some out there that might make conditions worse. And when the sub-zero temps come to town, there's new challenges. Salt quits working between five degrees and zero. To prevent ice buildup, a salt mixture is the city's best tool. But now Grand Forks is learning from a new chemical that's been effective in Fargo. With some of the research we've been doing, AMP will melt ice and break ice up quicker and more efficiently than the, the additive that we have. It's called AMP. It will mix in with the salt brine, allowing it to go on at colder temps and break up existing ice. Even with it, there's some high-risk areas in town. Bridge decks are really bad because of the exhaust. Accelerating cars will kick out water out of the exhaust pipe, creating black ice. Even if it doesn't look slick, it might be. Abel says the best way for his crew to keep the roads clean is a matter of timing. That's the biggest trick is getting the product and the people out there at the right time. To help you get from point A to point B, even if the temps are below zero. Grand Forks, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. And Fargo has been using the new additive for some time. Experts say it's less corrosive on your car. Now, Grand Forks will start using it the first week of the new year. And with a week's worth of extreme cold ahead of us, it's important to watch out for frostbite. Signs of trouble are cold skin and a prickling feeling of numbness, even red, white, bluish white or grayish yellow skin, clumsiness due to joint and muscle stiffness, and also in severe cases, blistering after rewarming. So the Mayo Clinic says frostbite is the most common on the fingers, toes, nose, ears, chick, cheeks, and chin. Because of skin numbness, you may not even realize you've got frostbite until someone else points it out. You should get to a doctor right away if you have any unexplained symptoms. Also, hyperthermia is a concern during these bouts of extreme cold. So watch out for intense shivering, slurred speech, drowsiness, and loss of coordination. You can help avoid trouble by limiting your time outside. Also cover exposed skin when you are out in the elements. One member of the Bison football team has an invitation to compete with some of the best college players in our country. Alex Egan will have the details a little bit later in sports. But first, trees in North Dakota may be in danger due to an invasive species spotted in Canada.